Hi dear students. In this video, let us learn about the activities of atoms and molecules. In this video, firstly we are discussing about the activities of learning outcome 1. The learning outcome 1 tells us explain the law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportion. In this, they have given an activity. Activity 3.1 sort these following things into elements and compounds elements are the substances which are made up of same type of atoms whereas compounds are the mixtures of two or more elements here we can easily separate the elements iron hydrogen oxygen and mercury these are all elements whereas water it is made up of hydrogen and water salt is made up of uh, sodium and chlorine Sodium hydroxide, it is made up of sodium and oxygen and hydrogen. And sugar, it is also made up of three types of elements that is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Next activity, do the following experiment and express your decision. Weigh the copper sulphate solution and iron nail before the experiment starts. After the experiment, weigh both solution and the nail. Use weighing machine for the experiment. Record the weight. Here they have asked the difference in color. In the beginning, the copper sulphate, the color of the copper sulphate is blue color. After the experiment, it turns into green color. So the color changes from blue to green. Then the difference in units. The, in the beginning, the solution was containing the copper sulphate. But after the experiment, the copper sulphate solution changes into ferrous sulphate solution. In weight, why? Weight of the iron increases because of the de deposition of the copper on the iron nail. Next question. Is the above experiment a physical change or chemical change? It is a chemical change because there is a formation of new product that is ferrous sulphate. Next activity. Observe the figure and write the ratio. They have given hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule and weight of it in the grams. Here 4 grams of hydrogen and oxygen 32 grams. Now to write the ratio we can write it like 4 is to 32. But we can simplify again 4 1s are 4, 4 8s are 32. So the ratio of molecules in water is 1 is to 8 that is 1 hydrogen and 8 oxygen next question based on that write the specific ratio for carbon dioxide in the carbon dioxide there is c and o two molecules the mass of the carbon is 12 grams and mass of oxygen is 16 there are two molecules of oxygen so 16 into 2 16 to the 32 grams so the ratio of molecules that is c is to o is equal to 12 is to 32 12 and 32 can be simplified that is 4 3 is a 12 and 4 8 is a 32 therefore the ratio of molecules in carbon dioxide is 3 is to 8 let us discuss second learning outcome in the next video thank you